Okay, so ah, the sun is shining. It's turned out to be a lovely, uh, lovely afternoon. So I have come uh, a bit further south to have a look at the middle and upper Jurassic. So the bit I'm walking to now should be uh, upper Jurassic. So let's see if we can find some uh, nice Cardioceros nodules. Uh, we might, we might not. And uh, yeah, if I find some, I'll let you know. Okay. So we can see just there and just there a couple of imprints this is nice hard stuff that's nice hard stuff so i have to bash this and see if there's any inside it okay sometimes the splits on these are awful but there's something big in here i'm not sure what it is and whether it's all there or not could just be a partial seems to be a funny angle that the uh, ribs are going at so i've smashed through a few little ones so there's definitely a, a good seam of ammonites in here. There's one there, there's one there, there's one there. But again, just it's whether we can get a good split on some of these. So I'm going to have to try and break this block apart and see if I can get some good splits. So I'm a piece of wood in this block, as you can see there. And it's amazing how, you know, it's it's soft and fibrous still. You know, it's amazing how, how uh, it's preserved. It's so... Uh, so would like but um, there's obviously material washed up against this branch so I've got a few blocks here to try and split I've got a fairly nice one there so that's okay but uh, I'm gonna have to try and split a few more down all right so like that big block <laughs> a little cardioceros there lovely colors I think that middle will just probably scratch out with a pin another little cardioceros there a little white one little baby something or other there and then I have managed to give this one another bit of a bash and it is in there so that's going it's going down that's the outer world there so that's quite a decent sized one so it's a shame we've got a bit of damage on top there but yeah if that's if that's folded in it's just that middle to pop out that's a nice rare one that and it's a decent size so yeah pleased with that all right so I've just come across another Another block with some uh, jelly bits showing, and uh, look at that. Uh, split right down the middle. That would have been a nice one, that. All calcite. That's a shame. So let's hope there's something else in this one, because it's all lovely and shelly. So there could well be more stuff in it. There's lots of bits of keels, but lots of shells. So yeah, we'll have to tap it and see what happens. But oh, that's, a, that's a gutter, is that? But again, this stuff is so hard to prep, you're not going to glue it back together, I'm afraid. So you've just got to hope for a decent split. Okay, so come across a little bit of Kellaways now. There you go, you can see the keel there, a little ammonite. A little Keplerites. And again, a little bit uh, crushed that one, but again, another little Keplerites ammonite of some sort. So yeah, we'll see if we can find some more. Okay, I think I found possibly a half decent one there, possibly a Cadoceros. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can get this one out. Definitely looks like a worn ammonite there. So I managed to get this lump off the top. I'm breaking this rock down because there's more in it. See there, a nice imprint, and that is, that's a nice kept there. That's Kepler IT, so I need to try and get this out without breaking it. But yeah, lovely. Well, this block just keeps getting better and better. Look at that. Oh wow, I don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I hope it's there. Well, it looks quite well preserved to say it's in this uh, this rubbishy stuff. Uh, <laughs> it could well be there. So I'm just gonna take that as is. I'm, I'm really hopeful. I hope that's there, because that's gonna be amazing. Uh, got that out. We need to still trim a bit off, but yeah. Still got to have a go at this warm one as well, so yeah, loads of stuff to have a look at. So I've got a split on this one. I'm not sure it's any good because I can see here, looks like it's going to nothing, so let's have a look. Oh, oh, well, that's hard to tell actually whether well, there's a middle there or not. So that's a big Keplerites. Big for here anyway, but it looks like this bit's been preserved in the soft. And this is the hard stuff, so, ah, yeah, it's a nice specimen, but, oh, 
it's a shame it's not quite there I might, I might just put a chisel in there and see what happens but yeah uh, let's hope that uh, that other one this one here is preserved better it does look really well preserved that to be honest so I'm quite hopeful so two nice specimens fingers crossed so tide's coming in now so I'm gonna be uh, heading back shortly but uh, another block here and you can see there's an ammonite just poking out there so yeah, might be okay we'll give it a tap see what happens all right so that was the ammonite and it's another cap probably would have been a nice sized one at one point so actually this is the uh, outer world that's worn away so yeah little uh, keplerites so yeah these are um, Colovian um, era uh, from the uh, Colovian zone and I think this is Keplerites curtilibus so it's the curtilibus subzone pretty sure for the Kellaways formation um, yeah about 165 million years old all good Right, that's me done for today uh, tides almost in so I'm gonna trudge back up the hill so some nice little finds actually today I've not spent too long here so they did raven scar this morning uh, just wanted to do somewhere a little bit different um, and yeah some really pop well potentially some really good finds so uh, we'll see if the prep uh, it could be a nice sized cardioceros and could be a couple of nice keplerites um, and the other one I'm not that sure of we'll find out when it's prepped if it's even there but yeah it's absolutely stunning today. But yeah, tide's coming in, so time to skedaddle.